So this is going to be a little bit different video. I'm going to try and do some like videos where I talk to you all about news that's going on and things in automotive or racing or whatever, things that I find interesting and you might not know about. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is an article that my girlfriend's mom sent me. And it's something I didn't know about and I'm glad she sent it to me because now I'm excited and I want to go see this. By the way, this video is not sponsored. There is no payment for this. This is me. I'm just excited to go see this. So we all know that Oscar Mayer has the Wienermobile. Well, now McDonald's has launched the Burger Cuda, which is the Hamburglar's Plymouth Barracuda. Um, I can't find what year it is. The articles, there's an article on ABC, uh, Good Morning America, and Road and Track did one. Nobody mentions what year it is. Um, I'm sure if I keep digging, I can find it. Somebody said that it was, um, somebody said it's a 70. Yeah, it's a 1970. There it is. Custom Plymouth Barracuda. Um, it is black and white like the Hamburglar. The interior, as you will see, is black, white, and red. The seats have the Hamburglar's face on it. The license plate is RBL, RBL, Robble, Robble. Um, there's no, I cannot find anything about the drivetrain. Um, I think with this being like a modern custom car, they probably just shoved like a 392, a scat pack, something like that in there. Um, because it says that they're going to drive it across the country from McDonald's to McDonald's. So I highly doubt they've got like a 440 with a six pack in there because that would drink gas. Um, I really do hope they drive it. I hope it's not trailered. Um, if they were smart, they would, the easiest way to do it would be trailer it to two or three miles down the road from the McDonald's, park it and then drive it to the McDonald's. Um, the reason they're doing this is to promote the new, bigger, juicier, tastier cheeseburgers, like double cheeseburgers. Plus they've got the new double Big Mac for patties. So this is something to keep an eye out for. Apparently if you see it, there's a way you can enter to win. You can win gift cards, t-shirts. I really want a Hamburglar t-shirt, um, among other things. Plus, it's something cool to just see that they are going a different way. Almost, to me, this was like the original guerrilla style viral marketing was just getting out. Hey, if you go to McDonald's on this day, you can see the hamburger. I remember when I worked at Walmart, they would have NASCARs there for different brands. Like somewhere here I have, um, like these guys. This was the Pop Secret and the Cheerios car. You know, those things sold at Walmart. That's how they used to do it. They bring the car and then give you these little cars. It was pretty cool. So I'm glad to see that other companies are starting to <clears throat> get on board with this. Um, like I said, these pictures that I got came from ABC News and Road and Track. Um, so keep an eye out. If you see the Burger Cuda, let me know where you saw it or if you figure out a way to like if there's a list of the cities or what towns it's gonna be in on what date and what time, let me know because I wanna go and I wanna shoot video. Um, also, let me know in the comments down below what engine you think they should have put in this. Do you think they should have went like historic and put an engine from the 70s in it or do you think they should have modernized it? Maybe even dropped a Hellcat in it. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about the Burger Cuda down below. 